Hi, this is Ian Mitchell with uh, Snome Americas and just wanted to quickly show you uh, what it's like to basically do a out-of-box um, provisioning for a Snome D7 series phone on Voiceware by PhoneSuite. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, one of them would be if you had a um, local uh, Voiceware server on site, in which case you could use um, DHCP option 66 or something in order to point the phone to the um, provisioning on the server itself. But since we'll be using a hosted uh, Voiceware solution this time, we're actually going to use uh, SNOME's uh, SRAPS redirect service in order to point the phone um, right to the server. So even without touching the phone, if it was an out-of-box experience, you'd basically be able to take the phone out of the box, plug it in, and it would correctly reach out to the uh, Voiceware provisioning server and um, configure the phone. So if we look here on our D717, uh, we can see that it is um, not currently provisioned. You just have the uh, language selection. So we can tell that that is um, you know, fresh out of the box. And um, we'll just do a reboot once we're kind of finished the process to basically show what it would be like or to simulate a, a fresh out of box installation. So back here on Voiceware, um, the first thing that we're going to do, and we're going to show this basically setting up a uh, user account, which will also create the, the device itself. Go through make sure our device settings are correct, and then we'll go into the phone and basically um, put the MAC address in. And that MAC address, um, you could, of course, get off the box itself, or you'd possibly get in the um, file export from your distributor when you're ordering phones. And that's why you don't necessarily need to touch the phone even. As long as you have the MAC address and you know what the phone is, um, you can plug it in here and have it uh, provisioned correctly. So right from this particular screen, um, we're going to go ahead and create our user. And uh, we'll just do a quick test here using some of my information. And we do need to input a password, so we'll just kind of make one up here. And we'll run down into our, um, at the bottom here, where it has extension. We'll go ahead and create a new extension. And we'll just call this one extension 402. And of course, we do want to add a device with this. So we'll also do add new device. Give that device name, same thing as extension, 402 uh, friendly name. This is going to be what's actually going to show up on the display of the phone itself. So I'll just go ahead and put a name down. And if you want to, you can regenerate a password. Um, I know sometimes you'll get an error message if there's no special characters in it. So eh, that one looks nice and complex. So now that we've got our um, device as SIP, we've got our device name, which matches the extension. We've got our friendly name, which is what's gonna be displayed on the phone itself. Um, looks like we're ready to hit the save button. So now we can see that there is the new user account here. And if we click over to our devices, we can see that it has created that new device, 402. And if we look at any additional settings in here, we can kind of run through, make sure that it has the um, correct codex that we want to use. Um, if we need to change any information, enable that. But out of the box, at least in the testing that we've done, um, you can just leave everything by default and it totally works. So we've got it automatically assigned to that user that we just created. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to um, actually go and create our phone. So if we go over here to phones, and this is where we're gonna plug in the MAC address of our phone. So you could get this off the box again, or in your uh, MAC address file that you might get from your um, distributor that's shipping you the devices. But uh, we have it right on the phone itself, so we'll just copy it from the web UI of the phone here. And if we go to add phone, Go ahead and assign this to the new user that we created. And for the template, um, you, for the SNOME D700 series, uh, you want to use the VTEC underscore SNOME. That is the default template for these phones. We do have this VTEC underscore S2XXX, which is for our hospitality phones. So if you had like a CTM S2411 or something, you would use that one. 
or for our new um, LS series phones under hospitality, you could use this particular template. But since we're dealing with the D700s here, we'll just do this uh, VTX GNOME and we'll drop in the MAC address. And then we pick which line we want to have it assigned to. And of course, this is the device itself. So since we created that um, device for extension 402, we'll just pick that from the dropdown. You can specify how many line keys you want to actually show up on the phone. Um, we'll just do two. That's what I like to do. But you can pick however many you want. And sure, we'll let it show missed calls. So another thing that we need to do is because this is a cloud installation specifically, um, we do have to override the um, server IP with an FQDN because this is a hosted solution that's actually um, added at voiceware.com, but we need to plug in IP addresses instead. So we'll just plug in the IP address of that. Um, if you're doing a, a local on-site um, installation, you wouldn't need to do this. Um, and then if we wanted to add any special speed dial keys, um, we could go down here and if we wanted to that would be a left for a specific key. We could say like 401. And if you did want to uh, add some additional ones, you can add them or remove them just like that. Go ahead and add this. So now that we have the um, phone record itself created, we can go back in just if you want to see a couple of more um, options here. Oh yeah, we can map the voicemail button. Um, you can also override a couple of global settings. So if you did want to um, change anything, if you wanted to change the hold reminder or enable the hold reminder and then set uh, the number of seconds, um, if you need to set the VLAN ID on the phone um, or anything like that, you can do that through here. And the last thing that we need to do is go into um, the SNOM S wraps, and this is where you're going to set the redirect record. So in the SNOM S wraps, when you first log in, you'll just come to here. Um, the first thing you need to do is create a provisioning profile. So for this particular instance, um, we're just going to create um, a profile. You call it whatever you want. Um, this one, we're just using the test server name. And then uh, the redirect record for the server is basically whatever the IP address or FQDN of the server is, and then it's this uh, slash P slash, and then uh, VTech underscore brackets, Mac bracket dot XML. So if you have a, um, if you're doing a local installation, again, you basically, um, you wouldn't even have to use SRAPs because you could use the DHCP option 66, and you just make sure that that record is, um, having the, it basically would have the IP address of the server and then slash P slash VTech underscore bracket Mac bracket dot XML. Um, since we're doing uh, for redirect on a hosted solution that actually does have a FQDN associated with it, that's why it's uh, this anna.voiceware.com slash same thing, slash P slash VTech underscore bracket Mac bracket dot XML. And you can use SRAPs to add a lot of other things, um, like, you know, different settings and stuff like that. But again, since, uh, since the voiceware is actually doing all the configuration itself, we don't need to worry about adding additional settings to the phone. Um, we can simply just have it point the phone to voiceware itself, and it'll handle all the configuration. So now that we've got the provisioning profile set up, we can go into the phone and we just need to basically add the MAC address so we can see the list of phones that we have available here, or that we've previously added here. And at this point, we'll just plug in that same MAC address from the device. That is not the MAC address. So we'll copy the MAC address from the phone here, paste the actual MAC address in, and we can see that auto, it recognizes that it's a D717. And then we pick the correct profile that we want to send the phone to. And of course, uh, we want to use that um, Anna Voiceware provisioning profile. Will you save that? So now we see that we have this MAC address going to this provisioning profile, and we know that that provisioning profile is going to the anna.voiceware.com, and then the important part, slash p slash vtech underscore bracket mac bracket dot xml. 
So at this point, we can actually just go to our phone and we'll just initiate a reboot, which would be the same thing as unplugging it and plugging it back in again. Or if you, you know, were doing a fresh install, you would have gotten the MAC address off the box. And just by plugging it in the first time, it would accomplish the same thing. So we can see on the phone now that it'll go through the reboot process. And it just takes a minute to boot up, um, get the IP addresses and everything. Okay, booter process is starting. In the DHCP server, it's got an IP address. It's trying to hit the NTP server now. A redirection should be happening here if we were to do a PCAP. <laughs> and as it finishes booting, you should see um, Hopefully it's not too fast, but you should see it basically boot up at default and then it'll quickly start applying the settings and it'll just flip over to the provisioning. So, yep, there it goes. It pulled down the config. It's not trying to register and we now have successfully registered to our voiceware and we can see that the um, phone is fully active. So I can actually call it from another phone here. And at the same time, it would have um, loaded the directory. So if we go into the directory here, we can actually see that the directory is loaded onto the phone. And we also have our voicemail all programmed on it. And that directory is getting loaded. We can see from, um, if we go back to voiceware here and we go back to users, um, it'll automatically generate a list of extensions. Um, so we can see it's basically loading this list of printable extensions to the phone itself. And that is how you would uh, provision a phone, one of our Snome D700 series phones onto voiceware by phone suite. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, keep an eye on this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.